Others, big sisters. We have the uh, executive director joining us, Tony Hollow, and the golf committee co-chair, uh, volunteer, Gary Schwarzlander. Welcome. Thank you. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank oh, yeah, and thanks, uh, thanks to Tony for. Uh, we got a nice award from you guys at the uh, mentor appreciation uh, dinner last week. Thank you. Well deserved. Yeah. Uh, well deserved. In events and recognition like that, we feel not only uh, from big brothers and big sisters, but a representative of the entire community for everything that you do. Um, you and Karen, and certainly the family it does uh, on behalf of nonprofits. So. As we presented that to you, we represented that entire entity, uh, and we appreciate. Thank we you. appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, thanks so much. And it's really neat to see how this event has grown uh, from a little gathering in a church basement to uh, commanding the entire City View Room at Commonwealth Center. Well, thank you. I mean, that venue is incredible. Yeah. Uh, we're so proud of it, and it's been the last couple of years that we've been able to uh, to utilize that through a uh, David at CCC Catering and uh, all, Jen, uh, Jennifer, the uh, coordinator of the facilities, uh, we couldn't be happier. And it certainly adds credibility to our organization to have such an awesome venue. Yeah. So we love it. We love it. So the next uh, big thing is the golf for kids' sake. And Gary, you've been involved with. Uh, Big Brothers for a long, long time. And this this event, is, this is your baby. Um, more or less, yes. <laughs> yeah. I've I've chaired it for whatever that means uh, for probably the last five or six years, uh, something like that. The work really gets done in the office. I guess I'm the pretty face of the of the event. <laughs> I I don't know. They, That's what we call it. Yeah. yeah they they call me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, co-chair, uh, myself and Dave uh, get the, I guess, the minutia behind uh, getting it rolling. And uh, But uh, we just have a wonderful staff that um, knows the ins and outs of it and, um, you know, a, a great course uh, that we work with. And again, we've, we've been there for a number of years and uh, we know each other well, so it, it just really works. Well, JTV will be participating in this again this year. Our team headed up by Jeff Steers. And if somebody wants to be in it, I think this is one of the golf outings that uh, sells out before uh, the day of the event. We, we keep a couple of foursomes available, mm -hmm. and we do have those. Uh, the original 34 that we put out there are gone, mm -hmm. um, but we have a couple of backup foursomes <laughs> available at this point. Uh, if anybody might be interested in, in, in picking up on that. Uh, so we welcome a call if, if, if somebody is interested. You know, it's, it, it's our favorite event. I yeah. mean, there's, there's really nothing like it. Uh, we've kept the cost way down, um, and we continue uh, to do that in cooperation with Hankard Hills. Now they have bought a new fleet of golf carts. So mm -hmm. we expect that to trickle down to us eventually for <laughs> maybe maybe a, a little uh, increase in, in our expense down the road, but I don't think they have their final bill yet on what that new fleet costs. So wow. there may be some increases, but we've kept it uh, and it's, it's a three, basically a three meal uh, all day event that's just a blast. It and uh, so we have a couple foursomes uh, too, exactly, that if, if someone was interested in playing as a foursome and, and, and uh, participating as a donor towards Big Brothers, Big Sisters mentoring program, uh, we could sign them up. But they are going to go quickly. We've had 36 foursomes. Well, I know that uh, Hankard Hills has been in need of some new golf carts because Inch <laughs> has actually driven one of his golf carts to Lansing. Yes. Yes, true yeah. story. Really? Uh, it, yes. yes. At four. Uh, we don't know why. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just did, I, you know. Well, he has been at our... Evade police, maybe. I, I'm not <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> he has been at our event and, uh, you know, they're just a great group to work with, yeah. with Al and... 
uh, Nikki. I mean, they're just great people to work with. So that ma that makes the event fun for yeah. us too. So sponsors, uh, you've already got some uh, headlining sponsors, but you're also in need of, well, you'd love more. Yeah, we'd love more. Um, you know, one of the cool things about a golf course is you can put signs anywhere. <laughs> and um, we, uh, we are happy true. to do that. And uh, if, uh, if you're interested in uh, being a sponsor, I, we, we could use some whole sponsors yet. Um, and we've got you know, some closest to the pin and things like that that uh, we'd be happy to uh, put your business name out there for mm -hmm. and um, so uh, yeah we'll find a way to find a way to get your name out of there uh, we of course would like to thank our event sponsor uh, Jack V Butterfield um, Omnisource uh, sponsoring our meal and uh, and those those folks have just been with us for you know for a long time and we sure appreciate them and uh, we'll have a we'll have a car um, for a hole in one contest. Uh, do we know what hole that's gonna 18th. be? 18th. On the 18th hole? It's a par five. It is a <laughs> 720 yards, but you should see the car that they win. <laughs> that's not true, Bart. It's no. a part three. Part three. And it is their annual free car hole. Let's hope yeah. someone wins the free car. The Hole in one car. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. Would have be. you ever been to a, a outing where someone's won the? Uh, no, never. I have. Ours. Have you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In fact, it happened. Um, this I think it was. Um, I can't remember which event it was, but it was such a big event. They were, they were doing half of the Arbor Hills mm -hmm. and the other half of the Country Club. And I think it might have been. It might have been the Tony Open that, one year. That could be. Yeah, but they won on the Arbor Hills um, thing. Uh, I was there. It was I would love that to, oh, yeah. so much. <clears throat> One time. Yeah, and uh, Art Main has been so uh, so good with us over mm -hmm. over the years to to sponsor that and bring the car out and get it all set up, and we we sure appreciate that. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, what's summer look like for uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters? Busy. I, he'll have a better. Yeah, uh, we're we're. We're excited about the summer for sure. Um, we get through the golf outing, of course, in mid June. Um, you know, we it's we have the traditional. We have the welcome back to school mm -hmm. uh, picnic towards the end of the summer. We have monthly events in between, um, which are, we're dealing with um, uh, some mental health type of uh, topics uh, mm -hmm. as we try to get our kids catching them up from COVID. Uh, yeah. We're still struggling with that as our partners are in the educational business. So uh, we, we have some um, of that kind of a workshop, uh, which we get pretty good participation for. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're certainly looking forward to that. On the other end, uh, that's, where, that's geared towards our littles, um, you know, the back to school stuff, the packs, backpacks, all that kind of stuff that we send our kids uh, back to school ready to go. But uh, from the other end, on the bigs end, we're doing, um, we're, we're doing some get togethers to recruit new bigs. We've got a, a outing uh, set up um, at the apron um, where we're going to do a happy hour and uh, where a big brings a potential big, a board member brings a potential big as far as recruitment. And uh, we have some of those events prepared as well because why, um, while we're, we feel, Bart, that we're making significant gains in regards to decreasing our gap of littles that are waiting, uh, we still need to do more. And these type of events uh, really help us. Yeah, we've, we've never had more, more bigs than littles ever. No, no, no. no. And not likely to happen. No. And, and the scenario is this, that while we have our monthly events and while we have recruitment events, it does attract bigs and potential bigs, but it also attracts littles. <laughs> so, so, you know, because it, it gets out there, shows like right. this, you know, where we say golf outing, you know, we're gonna make some money, we're gonna do these kind of things, happy hours. Well. 
a parent says, you know what, that's exactly <laughs> what my child needs right now is, is a big. So those come uh, in as equally as our potential. And that's, that's life story and that's great. But we wanna, we wanna stay active uh, at both ends of the spectrum. Uh, boys and girls uh, need bigs, but it's always the boy. You, you always need more men. Uh, yeah, um, we're the hardest to talk into it, you know. <laughs> yeah. For for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I, I'm probably not the best one to talk at the moment. I'm not a I'm not a big, but. Um, well, Bill Blakemore's going to be here yeah, in a while, Bill's, so we'll get his. We, Bill's yeah. the perfect. Yeah. We uh, should just do the whole show tomorrow. <laughs> to all of them, all of the bigs instead of, but two segments, we appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and they'll specifically talk about that. Need. Yeah. Um, but even, you know, just being on the board and uh, being involved, um, understanding that it's not, it's not something that you need to invest tons of extra time in to be a big, you just need to invest to be a big and um, the the kids the littles um, you know desperately need role models and um, and we we become role models by just showing them how we live our lives and uh, that that doesn't require necessarily extra trips to movie theaters or or things like that it's uh, just um, showing them how you know how we live our lives Absolutely. All right. So if you'd like to donate um, anything for the Golf for Kids sake, uh, raffle prizes, um, gift cards, things like that, they'd love to get them. Um, still a chance. A couple teams, still one opening. And uh, also sponsorships. sponsorships. Definitely. And new golf carts. And new golf carts. <laughs> <laughs> Just call us. Have, have, uh, have folks call us at 784-7181 and we'll, uh, we'll figure out how how we can make this work. Great. Hope you have a beautiful day for golf. So last about. time I checked, it was supposed to be sunny and 78 degrees. Oh, perfect. That's scary. That is scary. That's yeah. scary. Like I said, that's the last <laughs> time I, I, I want it to be the opposite. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> it's the uh, 20 day outlook. <laughs> yes. It's so dependable. Uh, Executive director of Big Brothers Big Sisters, Tony Hollow, and from the board, golf co chair, Gary Schwartzlander. A little later in today's show, we are going to meet a uh, big brother and his little. But first, we've got some birthdays to celebrate after this. <laughs> 